Hi guys, I'm setting up a new turtle tank. This is an innovative marine rimless tank that's 36 by 15 by 13. My 30 gallon breeder had so many scratches on it, especially on the trim, and it wasn't looking so great. So someone gave this to me for free. It's drilled in the back, but I was able to use 1 8 inch acrylic to cover the back. And I'm going to share the process of setting up this turtle tank. Here I recycled my kid's old uh, baby crib to make the light stand, so I didn't even have to paint it. I ordered some cheap light hanging kits from eBay. I'm using my old Current USA Satellite Plus LED, which I brought over from my 30 gallon breeder setup. This light acts as supplemental lighting for better viewing of the tank. I accidentally dropped the uh, remote in water for this light, so I'm testing with a wired remote. I'll be connecting to a timer anyway, so it turned out okay. I got some zip ties and 1x1 one one mounting bases from Home Depot to tie down the loose wires. This dome light by Zoomed is readily available in most local pet stores. This particular one was uh, purchased at Petco for about $30 and I got extra heating and UVB bulbs as backup or as replacements. Alright, so I set up both lights, now uh, I'm going to set up other equipment. I chose a hang-on back filter over a canister filter because I clean the inside contents of the filter every week and I just found that it's so much easier to clean the EchoClear 50 than my Eheim 2213. Here I'm just showing what the room temperature is. Obviously I'm not going to keep this tank without a temperature sensor and a thermometer but you should always check that your stink pots are in a comfortable temperature range. Some people suggest the water temperature should be in the 80s range, but these turtles are found in South America to North America, which includes parts of Canada and the northeast of the United States. I don't know about you, but I'm from the five boroughs of New York, and I only wish it was always 80 degrees in the water for 365 days. With their natural habitat in mind, I keep my water in the mid-70s range and they seem to be doing more than just fine. I will talk about the heater and temperature sensor more in detail later. Ta -da! There is a whole debate on which substrates are best for your turtles and I tried all of them. Uh, I avoided small gravel to avoid compaction and I eliminated the option of the bare bottom because the tank doesn't look natural. I used black sand before. While this is cool and visually nice for my fish tanks, I didn't like it for my stink pot setup as both my background and my turtles were dark in color. This white sand by Carib Sea was something my local PetSmart carried and it was easily obtainable. It is the best choice in my opinion. This water clarifier came with the Carib Sea sandbag. Use a ruler to make your sand bed stay consistently between 2 to 3 inches, higher in the back. Uh, a while back I made a mistake of putting too much sand and it trapped nasty gases inside the sand so I don't make the sand bed too deep. A too thin layer of sand might not provide an adequate amount of biofiltration so I went with uh, 2 to 3 inches. Here I chose Serio stones because I think the light gray goes well with uh, my dark turtles as well as the darkness of the Malaysian driftwood. But to be frank though, I have a huge box of these that I ordered from SR, Aquaristic, Amazon and other places. Also turtles don't mind the hardness of the water but be careful when adding fish. If the fish that you put with your turtles are sensitive to water hardness, I suggest you get the right fish for your setup. You can play around with the setup as much as you want until you get that perfect look. But again, when maintenance comes, you have to do a major once a month cleaning so you shouldn't worry too much about the scape. I, on the other hand, am very particular about how I want my things so bear with me. Uh -huh. Confused.
There are different suggestions for what the distance of the UVB and heating lamp should be from the turtle sunbathing surface, but in general, for my 50 watt bulb, I keep mine between an 8 to 10 inch distance. Let me know what you guys keep your lighting distance at by sharing it down below. Alright, so I got the basic setup down. I set up the, uh, the rocks, the driftwood. Uh, I might move it around more. Um, I just need to put in uh, some Anubias plant. Um, maybe Amazon sword in a separate uh, gravel plastic container. Uh, okay, I just have to fill it up with water. Here I'm just continuing with my attempt at adding some plants to my turtle tank. I thought I could get uh, some greens in there but again do not waste your time adding plants with these turtles because they will tear every aquatic plant apart. I'm moisturizing the sand and the plants so it doesn't dry up. Also this is a good way to prevent any uh, air bubbles from trapping before you add water. This Anubius is from my 30 breeder. I had it uh, grow immersed hoping that if I keep the leaves immersed the turtles won't get to it. You could add some hornwort because they will grow as much as they get destroyed but it does make bit of a mess so please keep that in mind. You don't need to plant it like I did here. These plants can stay afloat because they don't grow roots and absorb nutrients straight from the water to their stem and leaves. This here is a total waste of time. Just, just don't do it. Here, I forgot to add the sponge filter, so I will be removing some of the biofilter media later. Made a silly mistake on my part. Seachem uh, Matrix works really well with almost any type of aquatic setups. They hold a lot of beneficial bacteria, and it's easy to clean. You can buy this at any local pet stores. A little overspray here and there. You will need to get a circulation pump for your turtle tank. I chose a uh, 250 gallon per hour and it was perfect for my tank. Turtle tank water will get dirty fast so extra water movement will prevent water from getting stale. Uh, be careful not to get something too strong that will blow sand away or give a hard time for your turtle to swim. I just added uh, some old cycled water into my filter and new water to start the tank. Use a tray, bucket lid, saran wrap, or anything to prevent creating a sand crater. Try again! Water will clear in a few hours, if not the next day with an active filter. If not, add some beneficial bacteria additives or let it cycle for a few weeks if it's a brand new tank. You can even get some old fish tank water uh, and some established biofilter media from a friend as long as it's parasite free and with good water parameters to kickstart your tank. Fill the tank halfway, especially for stink pot turtles. They aren't really good swimmers. You do not need to fill the tank all the way for the turtles and I've seen some people do this but it's not necessary. Let them come up for air at a convenient distance from the floor to the water surface. Provide more horizontal space rather than vertical space. I just realized that my timer doesn't work. My ZoomEd timer has uh, failed me so I ordered a um, digital timer from Amazon. Hopefully that will do the trick. Let's go! Also, if you guys are wondering why and how I'm keeping two stink pot turtles, I will make another video on that soon. The names Chloe and Bucket Silly was uh, given to them by my daughter and my son when they were 5 and 4 years old, so hopefully I can resolve any confusion or questions later. Awesome. Oh. 
What? Hello. Thank you for watching guys, I hope this video helps others who want to start a turtle tank or even those who already have turtle tanks. Hopefully this was educational, entertaining, or you learned something from it. As always, freedom of speech can be shared down below. Let me know what you guys think.